what's up you guys welcome back to marcella's way okay so you guys bear with me i'm going to try to do my best to explain the concept of a print and cut and registration marks okay so what i'm gonna do is first we're gonna take this image here okay so this is the instagram logo it has pretty clean edges or whatever so i felt like that would be uh, an easy way to start it off so we have this image the first thing we want to do right is we want to turn on the registration marks right here in page settings if you guys can see right here where the cursor is right here i'm going to go to page settings which i'm already there and then i'm going to go to the third icon over which is registration marks okay now as of right now it's off i'm gonna turn it on okay so it's turned on all right so say for instance if i try to send this over to the machine right now just like this it's not gonna work because it needs cut lines around the image all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go here to this trace area so the little butterfly and I'm going to do select trace area so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight this whole area right I'm gonna highlight the highlight it until it's completely yellow right all right so that's done and then I'm going to click trace outer edge because I don't want to trace the whole thing. I just want to trace the outer part of it, okay? So now, here we go. The, I traced it out. Now, as you see, two separate parts, all right? So what I want to do is I want to group these two together. I want to group these two together. I want to group the line and the image together, okay? So it can't be moved at all. It's there stuck to it. All right, now I'm going to put my image, I'm going to size it where I want to size it, big or small or whatever the case is. I'm going to size it. And then I'm going to, after I finish sizing it, leave it alone. Don't touch it anymore. Don't, you know, if you need to flip it horizontally, do that all before this, this next step. Leave it there, okay? The mistake some people make is, after they have sized it or whatever and they've sent it to the printer they want to come back and move it again once you put it in this spot just leave it right there okay don't move it don't resize it don't do anything if you have to move it or resize it or whatever the case is then you want to start that process over okay so just to make sure put it in this spot make sure that it's where you want it to be make sure it's the size you want it make sure it's flipped horizontally and then leave it there all right, now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and send it to the printer, okay? Print it out just like it is, all right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the image and you're going to put it on a mat and you're going to send it over to the Silhouette Cameo. What's going to happen is the Cameo is going to read these marks right here to tell it where this image is positioned on a piece of paper. If you don't do that, then what's going to happen is it's going to, it thinks it knows where it is, but it really doesn't know the exact like centimeter, the exact spot where it's supposed to be. It's just going to kind of randomly cut it. So with the registration marks, it tells it the exact spot where it is. So imagine it as being registration marks being like the, the GPS signal for the image on the sheet of paper okay and then when you send it through the cameo it reads over it detects exactly the spot that it's in and then it cuts in that exact spot if you don't put the registration marks there a lot of times that process will get messed up so you have to make sure you follow those exact steps okay i hope that was helpful I hope that gave you some type of idea on the concept behind the registration marks, exactly 
what that is, how that works. A lot of the mistakes that people make is after they set the registration marks and they put the image in the middle or they size it or whatever, they print it and then they try to move it. And when they try to move it after it's already been printed, then it, it doesn't end up working right. So make sure that you follow these exact steps. I hope that gave you some sort of an idea. If you need a more detailed video, a more visual video on this process, please drop that in the comment section below. Thank you for all the likes and comments. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. And until the next time, see you guys soon.